Hi guys, in this video today, I'm gonna help you succeed in growing avocados the first time successfully. I've had uh, 15 years experience with these suckers and uh, yeah, it's easy to fail because of uh, a couple of rules which are often missed by new growers. So let's take a look at them now. The golden rule with planting avocado is drainage. This is a, a pipe that I have fitted to one of the trees at the time of planting so I would know how much water was sitting in the ground after rainfall and even when I water in summer. So here you can see there's a bit of water from last night's rain. We had about an inch and a half of rain and yet the, um, the water is still quite low down there which is good so to improve drainage what I did was during planting I used a lot of gypsum gypsum is this um, powdery stuff here it's available at all stores that sell um, amendments and I poured in there at least one to two kilos I don't remember exactly but let's say one kilo of um, of gypsum into the planting hole together with the native soil so the key here guys is to raise the the tree when you plant it above grade like I did see this see how it's about an inch or two above um, level grade look see that That's what you want to do. You don't want it level and you don't want it below level. You want it above level because the roots, the feeder roots are above, right at the top here. They're right up here. And if you sink those into the hole, you've got trouble. I've lost a lot of trees because I didn't know about this first golden rule. So first rule, plant that your avocado above grade using gypsum and um, native soil and a mix of compost just mix it all together and the hull of course has to be at least twice the size twice twice as deep and twice as wide as the pots that you're um, using to plant the second rule with planting avocados is they need shade in uh, summer they don't like direct sun so when you buy your tree which is roughly around this size you've got to keep them shaded in summer not now in winter it's winter currently here in Australia and they love the Sun because it's very mild right very weak but in uh, in summer guys protect these uh, in under a shade cloth or under a tree right uh, underneath another tree and what do I mean by uh, underneath another tree well like here if this one is behind the avocado here and by the side of this uh, grapefruit so this is getting some protection here see that that's one idea another idea is this under a big tree like this fuerte avocado or this uh, cherry moya tree both established and even more an ice cream bean tree under there so that's what I mean by protect in uh, in summer under shade and if you don't have any trees like I do here get yourself a shade cloth and uh, build a, a shade cover so once you've uh, followed those two instructions there's really not much that can go wrong they love to be watered a lot in uh, summer keep keep up the water and uh, don't let them get dry they have to have a lot of water in summer but with excellent drainage as explained earlier and the final reminder is to always get a grafted tree do not get a seedling okay you can uh, play around with seedlings by growing your own tree but that's not guaranteed <clears throat> to produce any fruit 
and if it does it might take up to 10 years this grafted Hass avocado here um, as you can see it's fully loaded and yet I've only had it for five years it started fruiting the third year and uh, there's over a hundred fruit on it now so that's it guys and don't be concerned about A type and B type that's not an issue if you're in a cooler climate so um, my favorite variety I would go for would be uh, this one here if you've got space the Hass right it's a big tree but it's a guaranteed um, vigorous and productive uh, variety my other choice would be this here this is a semi-dwarf variety called lamb Hass. so this is a good one for tight spaces similar fruit to the Hass. not as productive in its early years hoping for more production it's only been in the ground for two years Another semi-dwarf is this one here, the Picatin. I would recommend this one too, although it's only given me a couple of fruit in two years. So hopefully this year it's going to take off. So good luck guys. I hope you enjoyed this video and you got something out of it. Pass it along and share to others who wish to um, succeed with avocado in a cooler temperate climate. Please subscribe if you haven't for more great videos and turn on the bell for reminders when new videos are, are released. Thanks for watching.